Um, I actually had my first seizure in about sixth grade. Um, they were just small, petite, mall-ish seizures, and um, but I didn't know what it was. I, I, we just called them space outs, and um, that happened for um, up until about my senior year in high school, um, and I had my first grand mall seizure, um, and so I. Uh, you know, of course, that was rather traumatic, and um, and I had I, I wasn't on medication either until then. So I got medication, didn't really help, helped a little, didn't have a grand mal seizure. Uh, then like it went about every two years or so for a while. I, w I would have a, a it's tonic tonic clonic seizure, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and um, and that would be brought on by stress. Um, I, if my internal homeostasis is off in any way, shape, or form, if I if I don't eat correctly, if I don't eat the right foods, if I um, if I just have a stressful situation within the day, if I don't take my medications, you know, any any given thing that takes me from here to here could potentially trigger a seizure. And so so I when I was 21 uh, or 2 years old, I was working at Starbucks coffee as a barista mm -hmm. and I had a seizure a seizure there at a tonic clinic and um and I had like recurrent uh, tonic clinic seizures. I in one month had 21 seizures, I think. And um so uh, I was on I, uh, cocktails of medications. Um, it, some of them made them worse, actually. Mm -hmm. And um, then finally found one that I, I, I don't even remember what I was currently on that that made it uh, stop. And so I've been on pr almost every epilepsy medication, mm -hmm. except for the ones that they're you know currently making. Mm -hmm. And um, so then, so so that was good. Those were over with and it's been several years since then and um, I have not had one and statistically I hear that I'm not likely to have another one so I don't even really count those as ha me having them now you know and um, so then but if I have a stressful situation a lot of times um, if my body is stressed somehow I, I, I will have the drop scissors it's like I'm a marionette puppet and the, the scissors are you know cut imaginary scissors cut my imaginary strings and I'm down and then I have to kind of like come back to it and so so it's been a it's been a journey um accepting myself and um and knowing that knowing that it's going to be okay even though it doesn't feel like it mm -hmm. and um and I've really had to become strong and I've had to know that within myself and um and I've had some situations within work that have been difficult for me to handle because it, it just feels like people are rejecting me, but it's not me. It's the seizures that they're scared of. And it's, it's me learning the difference has been a huge lifesaver. Mm -hmm. um, and learning that it's okay to I, just educate people and they'll, it'll probably, you know, work out, that situation will work out. Um, I... I just know that there is a light at the end of this tunnel that it seems like I keep walking down. I can see it. And um, now I'm on um, progesterone, which my, my seizures also were affected by my cycle. And I had a naturopathic doctor who's also trained as an MD put me on progesterone. And that has helped me more than anything. And, um, and I go days without seizures now. And um, I'm on less medication than I was. Um, I'm on the progesterone, which really helps me out, and, and I'm so thankful. But it's just my body was progesterone deficient, which was triggering the seizures, among you know other things. And and um, I'm just really thankful that I've been able to have such a rich life experience. Um, and you know, it seems strange to be grateful for the seizures, but I I am grateful in a way. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, my story with my daughter, Liza, um, started July 14th, 2001, and she was five months old at the time, and we were, it was a Saturday morning, we were making pancakes, and I have two other children, mm -hmm. so we were having our big Saturday 
morning breakfast and she was under her play gym and I looked at her and she was doing something funny and I didn't know what it was but I knew it wasn't right and she didn't respond to me and it kept going and kept going and kept going and I finally told my husband that I said I think I need to take her to the emergency room and so I did that and um, when I brought her in it was a very somber greeting when I described the circumstances as to what was happening and they uh, told me that she would be admitted and lots of tests would be done and that she was having a seizure and we needed to find out uh, if we could, if they could find out the reason why. Um, so we ended up staying a couple of days, never knew why she had the seizure, which I guess was good and bad because that ruled out stroke or brain tumors or head injuries or something um, physically wrong um, with her. But at the same point, at the same time, we didn't know why she had um, such an, a lengthy seizure. Her first seizure was, was status. It was... Um, um, 40 minutes long. Oh, wow. And um, so we went from there. Um, I had to, as a parent, learn a lot about epilepsy very quickly. Um, and I, of course, I didn't really like what I was learning um, and uh, didn't go the medicine route immediately um, because she wasn't having them very often but we had to utilize diastat from the beginning because she obviously had a tendency to have long seizures and as time went on and she was one um, she'd met all of her milestones as a baby and the seizures became more frequent and more severe and by the time she was uh, 18 months old we were looking into other options because uh, we had started medicine um, but it became very clear very quickly that the medicines weren't effective and uh, we were pursuing possible surgery at that point in time and back then it was the old children's hospital building and um, they had they didn't have a lot of equipment that they do now so we had to travel and uh, it took months to get the tests completed and it was decided at that point that surgery was not an option for her, um, but we would pursue the ketogenic diet, mm. and we did. And the diet worked wonderfully. Mm. Uh, it worked wonderfully for two and a half years. We were med-free. Um, her seizures, she, I think she had four or five in that two and a half year time period and they were very short, um, no status episodes whatsoever. Um, but then uh, by the time she was almost five, um, we started noticing that she was definitely having more seizures and they were definitely becoming more uh, frequent and more severe. And by the time she was five, they um, determined that surgery was her only option if she was to survive. Um, they were very confident that at some point in time a seizure uh, would cause her death. So we went through the process of um, the, seizure, the, the surgery workup and in June of 06 she had a right front lobectomy um, they removed her entire right front lobe and uh, we were uh, recovering from that. Um, it took, took some time with therapy, um, but within about six months um, post brain surgery, um, she, was, she was doing very well. 